Hello, good morning viewers. Uh, still on to how to dissolve compound fractions into partial fractions. Today I have another improper compound fraction that I want to dissolve into partial fraction. This compound fraction is said to be improper because the degree of denominator is higher than the degree of the denominator. You can see the highest power here is 3. And the highest power here is 2 if you expand these two factors. So I told you, first thing you need to do is to carry out long division. You divide the numerator by the denominator. So let's do that. Our dividend is going to be the numerator, 3x cubed plus 22x squared plus 38x plus 7 and the divisor is going to be these factors but we have to expand them we have x squared plus 2x minus 3 as always you are going to take the first term here and divide it by the first term here therefore we say x squared can go into 3x cubed 3x times we are going to take this 3x multiply this times and align the result here. So we see 3x times x squared is 3x cubed. 3x times 2x is going to be um, 6x squared. Then 3x times negative 3 is negative 9x. We subtract. This minus this is 0. Um, this minus this is 16 x squared um, positive 38 x minus negative 9 x this negative will transform this negative to positive so we say 38 plus 9 is positive 47 x and our constant do not have any time to subtract with so we say plus 7. Still x squared can go into 16x squared 16 times. So we say 16 multiplied by this 3 times. 16 times x squared is 16x squared. Then 16 times uh, 2x is going to be positive 32x. 16 times negative 3 is negative 48. We equally subtract. This minus this is 0. 47x minus 32x is 15x. 7 minus negative 48. Negative will transform this to positive, which is 7 plus 48, which is 55. x squared can no longer go into 15x because this one has a higher degree compared to 15x. So our compound fraction can be reduced into the quotient, which is 3x plus 16 plus remainder 15x plus 55 divided by uh, the divisor, which is this, and it is the same thing as these two factors. So we have x minus 1 and x plus 3. So this is what we have to dissolve into partial fraction. Whatever we get, we attach it to 3x plus 16. So we can say this is equal to 3x plus 16, then plus. Our factors are all linear factors, so their corresponding numerators are going to be constant. So we have a over x minus 1, then plus another constant over the second factor, x plus 3. In order to minimize time, let me use cover up method to find the corresponding values of a and b. So this is equal to 3x 
plus 16 then plus we are going to obtain x minus 1 here um, to transform this factor into 0 the value of x has to be equal to 1 and we are going to substitute that 1 into the other factor so 1 plus 3 is 4 so we have 4 here to find the corresponding numerator we are going to substitute that 1 into this numerator so we say um, 1 times 15 is still 15 then 15 plus 55 is 70 so we have 70 to the top then we move to the next factor x plus 3 to transform this factor into 0 we have to set the value of x to be negative 3 because negative 3 plus 3 is 0 but that negative 3 has to be substituted here so we say negative 3 negative 1 is negative 4 so we have negative and we have 4 here so to obtain its numerator we are going to substitute that negative 3 in here so negative 3 times 15 is negative 45 and negative 45 plus positive 55 is 10 so we have 10 to the top this can be reduced to 3x plus 16 plus 2 can go into 4 2 times and 2 can go into 70 35 times so we have 35 over 2x minus 1 then minus 2 can go into 4 2 times and 2 can go into 10 5 times so we have 5 over 2 multiplied by x plus 3 and hence these are our facial fractions of this compound fraction and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do have a nice day